Hey there, welcome to LC Yoga. My name is Laura and today's practice is an energizing morning flow. So if you're like me today and you're feeling like you need a little help getting going this morning, that's what this flow is for. So if you're ready, get on your mat and I'll meet you there. We'll begin today in mountain pose at the top of the mat. So stepping to the front of the mat, feet are about hip width apart. Find your feet, so bend into the knees, pressing down with the feet and rise up from that. Palms facing forward, shoulders are back, crown of the head working away from the feet. Strong legs. Soft eyes. Looking down the bridge of the nose and start to deepen the breath. Just arrive on the mat. Feel free to close the eyes if you prefer. Press into all the corners of your feet. Feel that connection with the earth, even if it's through wood and concrete. And let that connection rise up through the body all the way to the crown of the head. Let it make you stronger. Now, if you close the eyes, slowly open them and start to, as you inhale, bring the arms out wide and up overhead. Grab a hold of the left wrist with your right hand and then step your left foot behind you and over to the right so that you're on the outer edge of your, right, your left foot, right? And you're stretching into the side waist on the left. So turn to the left. Pull that wrist up and over, leaning left, stretch into the side waist and the hip. Get long, breathe deep and look up. On your next exhale, come on back to center. Moving slow like a tiger. Let's take that over to the other side. Sweep the arms up overhead. Grab a hold of the right wrist. Right leg is behind and you're on the edge of that foot. Pull the wrist up and away, but drop the shoulder away from the ear. Get long and tall. Deep breath in. And then your next exhale, bring it on back to center. Inhale here with the hands in front of the heart. And as you exhale, let the hands fall down by the sides. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, reach up tall. Palms together, bend the knees and fold it forward. Let all the breath out. Inhale, come halfway up. And exhale, step it back into a plank, lower down, knees up or down. And then rise up into upward dog. Exhale, pull back, down dog. 
Now in down dog, move around as you need to wake up the back body. Side to side, bending the legs. Maybe stretching the shoulders. And then on your next inhale, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, get long, reach the crown away from the sit bones. And exhaling, bow forward. Inhale, with a flat back, come on up to stand, reach tall. And exhale it back to center. One more time, inhale. Exhale, hands down by the side. Inhale, sweep the arms wide and up. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, plank. Knees up or down, chaturanga. Flip the feet, upward dog. Pull back, downward dog. Three breaths here. Let the breath be long and deep. Get that shoulder stretch by adding a little anahatasana by pressing the chest through the shoulders. I feel like I need more of that today. And on your next inhale, step it to the front of the mat. Deep breath in, get long. And let it all out through an open mouth. <sighs> Inhale, come on, back up to stand. And exhaling, hands in front of the heart. <sighs> Close the eyes. Find the feet. And we'll move into a sun salutation B. So maybe heel toe the feet closer together. Bend the knees and inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold it forward. <sighs> inhale, long spine. Exhale, step back to a plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, heart reaches forward and up. Exhale, pull back, hips high. Go around the left heel, and as you inhale, step the right foot forward and come on up, warrior one. Exhaling, pull down all the way into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath in and let it out. Right foot grounds and as you inhale, step the left foot forward and rise up, warrior one. Exhale, pull down all the way into chaturanga. Rise up, up dog, pull back, down dog. Find the breath. And on your next inhale, step to the front of the mat. Long spine. Exhaling, bow. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, hands in prayer, stand up. Close the eyes. Breathe deep. On your next 
next to exhale, let the hands fall down by the sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhaling, bow, fold it in. Inhale, get long. And exhale, step it all the way back to a downward dog. Lower the knees, sit back on the heels, and we'll come into child's pose. Rest the forehead. The knees can be as close together or far apart as you like. Breathe into the shoulders and the back body. And we'll add a bit of a side stretch here. So lift the forehead and walk the arms over to the right. Lean into the le your left side. Lengthen the side waist. And let your left armpit move away from your back right hip. the hands back to center and we'll take that over to the left. Walking hands left, this time lean into the right side. Come on back to center and rest the forehead just for a breath or two. And then come on to all fours just so you can curl the toes under and sit back on the heels. Stretch the bottoms of the feet. Hands to the thighs, palms up or down. If this is too much, feel free to flip the, the feet so that the tops of the feet are on the earth. Now, wherever you are, do that. Flip the tops of the feet down, sit down, and shift the hips over to the left, and we'll come into another side stretch. Right hand down, sweep the left arm up as you rotate the torso toward the left, and then begin to side bend toward the right. Breathe into the side waist. You press the right hand into the ground and your left armpit moves away from that. No need to bend super far over if you're pressing with your right hand. And release and let's take that to the other side. So shift the hips over to the right, left hand down, right arm up. Open and breathe. and come on back to center, sitting on the heels. Rock forward, curl the toes under, and lift up into a downward dog. Inhaling, lift the right leg up, bend the knee, and stack the hip. So your knee's going straight up toward the sky. Left knee can be bent if it needs to be. Breathe into the hips. Back of left leg, open. Deep breath in here. And on your next exhale, step that right foot forward between the hands into a lunge and lower the knee down in the back. 
inhaling, sweep the arms up high. And then as you exhale, turn toward the right and open the arms into a T-shape. Inhale, sweep the right arm forward and up, both hands up. And then exhale, turn to the right and open. Inhale, sweeping forward and up. Exhale, turn. Last time like this, sweep the arms forward and up. And now stay here and on Johnny. You can leave the arms up. You can have them on the front thigh. Wherever you are, press the left hip forward. Powerfully let the sternum move away from back foot. So press your toes into the ground in the back. If your arms are up, you may want to bring your right hand behind for your, and reach for the back thigh. It's an ecstatic pose. What a great way to start the day. Hmm? Breathe into the chest, heart to sky. Now, wherever you are, reach both arms up and then bring both hands down by the front foot. Heel toe your right foot out to the right so we can come into lizard. Drop the hips, plant the hands, and you can hang out right here with arms straight. If your hips are feeling a little more open, you can come down onto elbows. Breathe into the hips, let them open with each breath. Now you can draw your right knee in toward the shoulder. You can also flex the foot and let the knee fall out to the right, your choice. Now, wherever you are, start to come down onto elbows because we're going to lift the back knee and then step back into a forearm plank. Palms pressing, elbows pressing. Underside of the body is strong. Breathe. And then begin to walk the feet, lift the hips and walk the feet in, kind of like downward dog. We're coming into dolphin pose. So it's like down dog on forearms. Press the chest through the shoulders. Hips high, breathe. Now walk the feet back into plank. Strong, deep breath in, and then exhaling lower down. So you drop the hips, stay up on the elbows, and you're in sphinx pose. Now press all 10 toes into the ground, press the hips into the ground, and then pull the chest through the shoulders. Now, this is, if this is any compression in the back that's uncomfortable, go ahead and lower down onto, you can stack your palms and lower the forehead. Couple more breaths here. And then wherever you are, lower down, plant the hands under the shoulders, curl the toes under, and lift the hips into downward dog. Now on your next inhale, lift the left leg this time, bend the knee, and stack the hip. Your right heel is over by, or your left heel is over by your right hip. Top knee is straight up toward the sky. Deep breath in. 
And then your next exhale, step the leg forward between the hands, lower the back knee down. Come on up, Anjani Asana, reach the arms up overhead. You can also have your hands on the front thigh. Deep breath in here. Your arms are up. As you exhale, turn toward the left, open the arms into a T-shape. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. And exhale, open and twist. Inhale, forward and up. Exhaling, twist. Last time here, inhaling, reach it up. Exhale and twist. Inhaling forward and up. Now stay here and breathe. Again, you can lower the hands to the front thigh if that feels better. If your hands are up, maybe your left hand reaches back for your back thigh. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, let the hands come forward around the front foot and start to heel toe it over to the left. Drop the hips, plant the hands into a lizard pose. Breathing into the hips. Stay up high or lower down onto elbows. And adjust your leg so you're feeling a nice stretch in the hips, but it's not uncomfortable. Now, wherever you are, see if you can lower down onto forearms. Lift the back knee and step it into a forearm plank. Breathe, strong legs. And then begin to walk the feet towards you, lift the hips, press the chest through the arms, dolphin pose. Now, I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen a dolphin do this, <laughs> but I'm guessing we look like a dorsal fin. I'm gonna go with that. So step the feet back so that you're back in a plank. One breath here, and then lower the hips, pull the chest through the arms, press all 10 toes, press the hips down, Sphinx pose. Now, if you're not feeling much here and you want more of a back bend, feel free to press your hands into the corners of the mat and lift up. And you can walk the hands closer to you if you still feel like you need more. But don't do that for looks. Only do it because that's what you need to feel. Now, wherever you are, lower down, stack the palms, rest the forehead, give the hips a little wiggle. And then lift the head, plant the hands under the shoulders, curl the toes under, and lift up into a downward dog. On your next inhale, lift the right leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands, lower the back knee down. 
Heel toe your foot over toward the left so that you can come into pigeon. Bring, as your knee lowers, flex the foot and bring your heel as close to your left hip as you need it to be, depending on how open you are. Now stay up high, no matter how open you're feeling. Once you find your foot position, lift the back knee up, pull the hips back, and then lower down. Now you can start to walk the hands forward, but as you do, use them to press the hips back, and you'll get a much higher quality stretch as you do. Even if you can come down onto elbows, do the same. Keep pressing back. Breathe into your right hip. Let it open. Take a deep breath in through your nose as you imagine the, that breath going into your hip. Inflate it. And then exhale through an open mouth and let it deflate. Do that two more times. Just stay here for a few more breaths, letting right hip open more and more. And then your next inhale, start to walk the hands back up, lean all the way into the right hip so you can swing your left leg over. Tuck your right leg under, right left foot over. So your left knee is up straight up to the sky and we'll take seated spinal twist. Left hand behind you like a post, wrap your right arm around your leg, pull that knee over toward the right, inhale, get tall, and exhaling, twist from the belly button. Each time you inhale, get tall, and as you exhale, you twist. Breathing, twisting, soften the forehead, shoulders away from the ears. And your next inhale, come on back around. Let's take a counter twist in the other direction. And we'll move into Gomukhasana. So work towards stacking the knees. All right. Now if they won't stack, no big deal. If your bottom knee isn't feeling good, reach the leg long out in front of you. Flex the left foot, maybe support the knee as needed. Okay. Work towards stacking the knees. They don't have to stack. Get tall. And then lift the hips up. So actually lift them off the ground and scoot the hips over toward the right. And that'll enhance the stretch. Start to lean forward with a flat back. You can have your hands behind. Maybe they come forward. Use them if they come forward to push the hips back. One more big breath here. And then come on back up to sit. Maybe tucking the legs a little closer so that you can come up and work toward untangling them and <laughs> come back into a downward dog. Inhale, 
Inhale, left leg up this time. Bend the knee and stack the hip. Reach the knee high to the sky. Deep breath in. And as you let it out, step the left foot forward into a lunge. Lower the back knee down and heel toe the foot over toward the right. Bring the knee down, mindful of the knee. Heel as close to or as far away from that hip as needed to make your knee comfortable. Pick the back knee up, scoot the hips back and lower down. Now again, anything in your knee, start to move the heel closer to the hip. All depends on how open you feel today. Stay up high, pressing the hips back or lower down onto elbows. My left hip is always tighter than my right, so I'll usually give it a little grace before I start to lower down. Let it open up. Not only are, are each of us uh, unique in our anatomy, you can be unique from one side to the other. So we have to pay attention. And when you feel that opening, then you can lower down, still pressing the hips back. Now let's take those three deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose, inhale into that left hip. Exhale through an open mouth and let something go. Two more times, just like that. breaths here in Pigeon. And then your next inhale, start to walk the hands back up, lean into the left hip and swing your right leg around. Left leg under, right leg over. Right arm behind you like a post, get tall and wrap your arm around that knee, pulling it over toward the left. Inhaling, get tall. Exhaling and twist. Do that with each breath, twisting from the belly button. So right about here, not from the shoulders. Time work on softening the jaw. Now you can have a different arm position, elbow to the outside of the knee if, if your body needs a little deeper twist. And your next exhale, release. Come forward and take a nice counter twist in the other direction. And we'll come into Gomukhasana. So start to work towards stacking the knees. Again, the bottom leg can be out in front. Doesn't have to be bent if your knee's not feeling good. Lift the hips up and scoot them over toward the left. Press the feet into the ground, start to lean forward. Maybe the hands are behind. Maybe they come out in front and use them to press the hips back.
more breath here. And then however you want to come out of it, I like to tuck my feet close and so I can roll over onto my knees, untangle, and step, step, downward dog. Now walk the feet back just a little bit so the heels are up and then press the chest through the arms on a hatasana in downward dog, heart chakra pose. So the, the chest presses toward the ground, torso is like a ski jump. Press the hands into the earth, especially the fingertips. Open the shoulders. Come back into regular downward dog come forward into a plank, lower the knees, and lower all the way to the ground. Bend the knees and grab a hold of the ankles. Draw the knees in toward the center line, and as you inhale, lift up, bow pose. Pressing the hips into the ground, neck is long. Deep breath in, reach the feet up as high as they'll go. And then exhale, release, stack the palms, lower the forehead. Wiggle the hips. And we'll take that one more time. Bend the knees, grab a hold of the ankles. Inhaling, lift on up. Pressing the hands, and the, or they pressing the ankles into the hands. Looking down, not crunching the neck. One more big breath here. And then release, stack the palms, rest the forehead. Hips wiggle. Lift up, plant the hands under the shoulders, and rise up into a cobra. Rise up to your own degree. So you've got to figure out what feels good, right? It's like trying different sizes, right? Only come up to where it feels good in your own body. Hips pressing down, aiming the curve into the upper spine, pressing all 10 toes into the ground. Deep breath in and lower down. Bring the hands closer to the hip points and rise up, upward dog, lifting the thighs off the earth. And then curl the toes under, pull it back, downward dog. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, walk the knees through so you can come down into a seated position. Right leg out, left foot to the inner thigh, Janu. Plant the heel, bend the knee, and scoot your hip back, away from the foot. Start to come forward, maybe with the hands behind. Long, flat spine. Tilting the pelvis forward. Top of the head working toward the toes. And then inhale 
then come on up. Left hand behind and sweep the hips up as you rise up onto the knee, stargazer. And then lower down. And we'll take that to the other side. Left leg out, right foot in. Bent knee, plant the heel, hip back and away so you can tilt the pelvis forward and start to fold. Top of the head working toward the toes, not nose toward knee. Breathing, opening, and then inhaling, come on up, plant the right hand behind, sweep the hips up, and lower down. Now roll down onto the back, draw the knees into the chest, and we'll take a recline twist. So you can drop the knees to the left, stacked. If that doesn't feel like much, you can wrap the legs, choose your leg position, take your favorite um, recline twist. Both shoulders on the ground. On your next inhale, if you wrap the legs, unravel, come back up to center, and then take that same twist on the other side. Knees stacked, knees wrapped, you choose. On your next inhale, unravel. If you, in fact, raveled, come back to center. Let the legs stretch out in front of you. Feet flop open. Palms open to the sky. Shavasana, corpse pose. Close the eyes. And now you can release the breath. Let it do what it wants. And let every muscle Get heavy and sink into the ground. The earth has got you. There's nothing you need to do. And nowhere you need to go.
And let the breath become deep one more time. Bend the knees, bring the bottoms of the feet to the floor, hands to the upper thighs. Drawing the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. And then roll on up to sit. Find a comfortable seat, cross-legged, half lotus, you choose. Backs of the hands to the knees, thumb and forefinger touch. Close the eyes. What a gift it is to move like this. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste. And aloha.